what sure. about like you say you give you know you give presentations around the world if you're speaking to a group i mean everybody shows up with their own reality with their own agendas you know sure. different people think different things are important how do you how do you get that motion out of a group when you're presenting to them versus yeah, it's harder with a diverse group because i've got the cfo over here who's listening to my message going how much is this going to cost yeah right how is it's going to work yeah. i've got the ceo who's listening to my pitch or my message saying how is this going to move the whole company to the next level how right. are we going to compete with these people who are about to eat our lunch and the workers are saying how much more work is this going to be the thing you're you're pushing on me what's how's that going to affect me and so I think all of those things together, you have to understand who you, that's why understanding your audience and knowing who's out there, very important. Yeah, I think it is as well. I, I can tell you one thing. Sometimes when I, you know, when I speak to groups, it's the same thing as you just said. There might be CFOs and CEOs in the room. There could be people from big companies, small companies. There could be managers versus you know non-managers. And um, sometimes I feel like I don't know, Gary, if you do the same thing, but like I, um, I, I, I try not to spend too much time on any one topic, you know, because, you know, I might be talking about some tax thing that is of only interest to like a third right. of the room and they're really interested in it, but the other two yeah. thirds are not as much. So it's yeah. like a balancing act. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's a very smart thing to do is, uh, you if, you keep have, it moving. <laughs> if you have to include it in there, you have to include this. And I know the CFO is going to be looking for this number. Yes. Hit it and then keep it moving. 